The Quizzes tool is for creating quizzes or tests, which can be useful for various evaluation items, such as exit cards, formative quizzes, or summative tests. There are numerous types of questions that you can add to a quiz. The most common and easiest to use questions are the true or false, multiple choice, written response, and short answer. You can also create fill in the blanks, matching, ordering, arithmetic, and multi-short answer questions. Once you create a test or quiz, you can use it over again in the future since it can be copied from one class section to another. If you want to make a change or improvement, you can simply edit the questions. To create a new test or quiz, go to the Quizzes tool. Select New Quiz, enter a title, choose a category, for example Unit 1. You also have the option to write a quiz description or introduction. Save it. When you create the most commonly used types of questions, you will be using the new Simple Editor. To start adding questions to your test or quiz, select Add Edit Questions. To add a true or false question, first select New, and then True and False. Enter your question text, the answer, and assign the points value. Note the additional options in this drop-down list. Add Feedback allows you to add an explanation to each answer choice and overall feedback to the whole question. The students will see this information after submitting their quiz. Note that you must complete the settings in submission views so that the students can see their results for a brief period of time right after the quiz. Add Hint allows you to add a hint that the students can access during the quiz. Note that you must also check off Allow Hints on the Properties page. Add Short Description allows you to add a description to the question, but it can only be seen by the teacher for the purpose of labeling and classifying. Add Enumeration allows you to choose a numbering method for your question choices. To add a multiple choice question, first select Multiple Choice. Enter your question text, then add your possible responses. Note that you can add or remove possible answers. You can also add the percentage value for each response. For example, 50% for a partially correct answer and 100% for the correct answer. You can also randomize the order in which the options will appear to students. Then assign the points value. Note that the same additional options are available as for the true-false questions. The written response option can be used for any textual answer, whether it's short answer, a paragraph, or an essay. First, select written response. Enter your question text and add the points value. Check off this box if you wish for the student to have access to the text editor so that they can format their response. If this is enabled, they can use the insert stuff, add a file, and insert quick link options. This option could be useful if students are completing a reflection or a task that involves including multimedia. The teacher will need to review these responses manually and then assign the points grade. The short answer option can be used for short answer questions that have one or more answers. First, select short answer. Enter your question text, your answer for each blank needed, and the points value. Choose how the points are assigned to the blanks. For example, one per blank or that they must get all blanks correct. It will be necessary to review the student's short answer questions to ensure it's properly scored. If the students don't write exactly what you write, the system won't award the point. Check for differently worded responses and spelling errors. Note that you also have the additional options tab to add feedback, hints, or a short description. The remaining question types are available in the older editor, which is not as nice to use, but will allow you to add these types of questions when needed. Watch the second video on the quizzes tool to learn more about how to add the original question types. Select the I in the top right corner of this video to go there now. If you are using quizzes for formative purposes, you may not want to bother with restricting access to them. But if you would like to control when students can access a quiz and for how long, then it is important to understand the settings that are found under the Restrictions tab. You must set the status to Active. And then you can choose Availability and Due Dates, add it to the calendar, 
choose a time limit, and even set up special access for individual users, for example, if a student has an IEP that allows more time. There are some assessment options to complete under the Assessment tab. You can choose to automatically grade submissions, but note that it will only auto-grade questions that have the ability to auto-score. As well, you can attach a test or quiz to a grade item in the Grades tool. This option then allows for the auto-export of the evaluation to the Grades tool so that the students can see the teacher feedback. Note that you can set the number of attempts allowed and indicate how you would like the grade calculated. Go to the Submission Views tab. Note that the default view does not allow students to see their quiz results upon completion. You can, however, create an additional view that will allow them to see their results right after they submit the quiz. You can generate a report to analyze the results of how students performed on the test or quiz. Hope this helps you understand how to create the most common question types in the new quiz editor and how to set the additional options for your quizzing purposes. Visit my channel for more videos on how to use the Ministry Licensed Virtual Learning Environment and Digital Learning Resources.